The end goal of installation for servers has not changed in pretty much the entire time IT has been around. What's changed is how we can automate that process. Now, yes, automation is often thought of in the DevOps world, but it's been around for a lot longer uh, than just DevOps. What we used to do is if we had a bare metal server, like which was actual hardware, and we would install things, rather than install things over and over and over, we would set up a script that would automate the installation process. And that generally works really well, but it does take a while. And sometimes, depending on the hardware that you had, it would cause a few problems and you'd have to tweak it. And depending on the operating system, whether you're a Debian or a Red Hat person, you would either use a kickstart file or a pre-seed file or a combination of those two things, and you would kickstart or bootstrap your install. And what would happen, it would go through the entire installation process, and you would have these really complicated configuration files that would do things like partition the actual hard drive as the size that you want, or automatically put in yeses and nos for various questions along the installation process. The goal was to completely install something without having to actually type anything on the computer. Once you would do that, you'd have your bare bones setup computer installed with the proper drivers and the proper heart or the proper software for the hardware you have. And then you would either automate the installation or you would manually install the different applications in order to make your server its end result, whether it's gonna be a web server or a SQL server, whatever it's gonna be. It would be this automated process, but it would still take a long time because it would have to actually install everything. But we live in a completely different world now. Almost all of our server hardware is virtualized, which means their hardware is identical. So we don't have to go through that installation process and worry about the proper drivers and the proper everything that would be done during the install process when we had custom hard bare metal servers to install on. So now what we generally use is something called cloud init. And this is a post install customization utility. It's very, very common in the cloud, but it doesn't have to be strictly in the cloud. And here's basically what we have. We have a fully installed virtual machine and we use this thing and we clone it so that we have an exact copy of it. And then we use cloud init code and inject settings into that fully installed machine. And then during this process where we add users and network information, we add applications, it's turned into whatever kind of server we need, but there's no operating system installation that takes place at all. It's completely cloned from an already installed machine. It's much, much more efficient, much faster. And to be quite honest, it's just more elegant. We just take this base clone server and we customize it into whatever we want it to be. Now, there are still some use cases where scripted installs with Kickstarter Preseed are something that you would want to do, especially if you're installing on bare metal. However, using post install configurations is a way that we can automate the process of setting up a server beyond just automating the installation. We can automate everything and every aspect of the setup procedure, and we can do it all in the cloud using DevOps which is an efficient, repeatable, reliable way to get our servers set up.